Seven-year NFL veteran, fantasy football waiver darling, Kendrick Bourne joining us now as well. Uh, had a nice season when you weren't hurt last year. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough year um, as well. But, you know, when you were out there, you were producing plays, yes, which is not something we could say about a ton of the Patriots. A tough mm -hmm. year in New England for you guys. Yeah. Um, question for you, though. They say that adversity builds character, Kendrick. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, what's the biggest lesson you took away from last season? Yeah, yeah, I like the adversity part, man. Yeah. Um, I always try to take things that I've went through or whatever in life and football and see how I can get better from it and turn around. So um, just the year in itself was rough. Obviously, being hurt is rough. So rehabbing, getting right, but um, just going out there, working hard, man, and making a play. So having my body be prepared so that I can make plays. Like you said, I was I was able to make plays with not such a good year or things yeah. going well. So just doing my part, man, of rehabbing, um, doing the right things on the field. Even before I was hurt, just doing prehab, doing stuff that'll make my body go, man. So in the weight room, all the little things, man, uh, just detailed so that I can play good games. And I was doing good. So and we'll see We'll see what the future holds. And you're still doing that rehab out here in Vegas, too. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, still working, man. Um, obviously, my knee. And so uh, I've been doing rehab as I'm doing radio row and doing all this media stuff still working to get back, man, to where I was at um, before I got hurt because I was, felt like I was at my best. Yeah, you had a, it was uh, when you were out there, it was it was clear that you and Mac and even Bailey, you guys had a connection. Mm -hmm. They were constantly looking for you, and the, off, the passing offense ran through you. Yes. Um, curious, though, you mentioned detail in your first answer. Mm -hmm. That's one of the words I always think about with Coach Belichick. Yes. What was it like playing for him the last couple of years? And That's are you surprised question. he doesn't have a job at the moment? I am. I am. Uh, I love that guy to death, man. He changed my life, changed my perspective about football, um, taught me things that I didn't really know. Um, like what? Give me an example. I would one. say so I had a so a certain drill he ran. Um, it was like a, called a sideline skinny drill where we would work on attacking a defender by the sideline. So <clears throat> he'd make me attack one defender. He put two defenders out there and then as a runner we'll catch the ball. And, right. and the sideline's right here and there'll be two defenders, maybe one sometimes, yeah. and then we'll attack him straight at him yeah. and then make the cut. So it'll either go straight at him and then whatever leverage he holds, I go away from. Right. And I've never done anything like that. So he taught me how to run with the football better, something I've never learned. So I never did it in college, I never did it in San Francisco. And once I got to Bill, I was like, I hate this drill, man. But as I kept doing it and buying in to the detail of it and how he was looking at it, um, I, I always remember, remember the Tennessee clip. I don't know if you guys seen it. I yeah. ran, I caught a shallow and I threw a stiff arm for a touchdown. But it was so funny when I caught the ball, the drill like showed up in my, yeah. in my yeah. vision. Like yeah. I could see the drill yeah. and yeah. Yeah. I ended up like making a big play to win the game. So that was something that I've always remembered that is in stamp. So he, he's made me improve big yeah. time in my game. Definitely. Shout out to Coach Belichick. Yes, sir. And, and now, you know, at, now as the team transitions now, because mm -hmm. as you know, you switch teams. This is a business. So mm -hmm. um, now transitioning to Gerard Mayo, who's yes, been sir. with the organization since he's been a young dude, drafted yes. by the team, became an all-pro with the team. Yes. Coach worked his way up. So now, now that it shifts to him, mm -hmm. what type of – what type of vibe and energy is he going to bring to this Patriots team? And how does he get them to flip the page to get back to them old Patriots days? Um, I love Gerard, man. So obviously, like you said, I was in the building with him for my three years. He's been there a long time, so he knows the culture. I think he's going to bring a balance of that swag and that vibe, yeah, like you sure. just said. So those specific words, I think it's a young culture, man, in this in this league and day and age. Um, everything's different. So I think he'll just meet meet the locker room how it needs to be met. Um, nothing against Bill, but it was just a different era. There yeah, different yeah, that's eras. it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, things that's changed. It. So, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I love Bill, man. But things it, it obviously needed to go in a different direction. I think they made the right choice with Mayo, uh, young. I, I said a uh, point about him. He, he one day he'll walk in the locker room with a bat over his shoulder. One day oh, he'll yeah, walk yeah. in with he, a he, golf club. One day he'll walk in with a hockey stick. So it was just like he he was just different. It was something to him that um, I really admired and. And uh, I've had a good relationship with him for the last three years, going against him on offense. So right, I'm right. proud of that guy, man. I'm, right. I'm excited to see what happens. That's what's up. Now, before you came to New England, you were a member of the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, you played for Kyle Shanahan. You were in the Super Bowl the last yeah. time the Niners played the Chiefs. <laughs> Talk to me about what you see from your former teammates, your former coach, and you know how you're looking at this game on Sunday. It's funny. Um, you know, I was in that era of you know kind of that rebuild when Kyle first got yeah, there yeah, I was a rookie yeah. with him so th shout out to him appreciate him for giving me an opportunity and uh you know we we grew as a team I just remember those years and then year three I think we went 2019 um we you know we made it to that point of, of that rebuild kind of and to get yeah. to the Super Bowl was great 
And so now, you know, they're in that dynasty mode and I, and I love to see it. You know, I feel like I was a part of helping build that in a sense. A culture, you know, the swag, the, the coming out, um, listening to music with the bump box, all those things I was a part of. And it was it was phenomenal. It helped us play better. And so I love the, the way they play, the way they go about things. And for me now, I'm thinking about the Patriots of like, I'm in a, I was in the rebuild era, and to see the <laughs> yeah, Niners yeah. be who they yeah, are now, yeah, I don't want right. to miss the Patriots because right, I'm miss, right, missing right, the right, Niners. Right, right, phase. Right. So it's, it's awesome to see those guys, man. They have a, a great team, man. They have so many weapons, and I, I think they're going to pull it off. So we'll see. Yeah, okay. Let, let, <laughs> now, um, let, let, let's take it back real quick because right. a, lot, a lot of people forget about this. Like mm -hmm. We had great college receiver duos like Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, right? Then mm. DK Metcalf, AJ Brown. But mm. a lot of people sleep on you and mm. Cooper Cup. Mm. We were doing mm. it for three straight years. <laughs> wow. Right? What, what was it like teaming up with him, yeah. Eastern Washington, mm -hmm. and just put it running up the numbers? That's a great question, man. So he his numbers are phenomenal. I love Coop to death, man. He's taught me a lot. Uh, we have a great relationship. Uh, just as a young guy coming to college, you know, he he, he took me under his wing. It's kind of yeah. like what Puka says about him now. He, yeah. I felt the same. Uh, when he said that, I resonated with it because yeah. um, he had me, he caught me at a young age. He was only one year older than me, but um, just the way he worked, the detail, the 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 ambition to do it all. Yeah. Uh, he's a man of God, and he just had so much um, upside to him. You yeah. know, he created himself in a sense. He wasn't born athletically gifted. He, right, he created right, those, right. those traits yeah. that he has yeah, now. Yeah. So um his numbers were phenomenal he's they, the they, so, they was crazy no they're yeah. crazy so they crazy. he's the reason we're the top duo fcs yeah i yeah. had like 3500 but he had like 6800 yeah, yeah. so but, now we like lead so it was a, it's crazy that he 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 put me a part of history which i'm always thankful for yeah um <laughs> yeah no doubt right it's crazy and that that is uh i don't think people realize that and appreciate yeah. that they, right? they, got, so they gotta put y'all up there with them fbs they, duos right. they do. just because the numbers is wild <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes, numbers sir, are numbers. That. Numbers don't lie. They don't. Hey, Kendrick, so you're rehabbing now. You're a free agent. Mm -hmm. And so as you head into free agency, obviously you don't know. Listen, we all want to get paid, so that's important. Sure. But but in addition to the money, what's most important for you? Is it, is it quarterback? Is it coach? Is mm. it scheme fit? Like as you approach uh, free agency and you're talking to teams, what's important for you in terms of where you land, whether it's back in New England or somewhere yeah. else? Yeah, yeah. The money is, is good, of course. Like Jalen Hurst said, you know. <laughs> championships are better so I want to win you know <laughs> yes, I want I yes. want the whole the whole bundle of it I want to win yeah. I want to get paid I want to help my team grow I want to help my teammates be better man you know just just being a leader you know what yep. I mean I want to go somewhere where I can change the co help change the culture and have guys uh you know know that this is this is trying to be built into something big you know every person that comes through here becomes better so wherever it may be man I just want to be a part of something great and um, we'll see what happens, man. I really don't know, but everywhere I've been, it's been it's been great for me, um, just being the person I am. So just trying to keep the same charisma and, and energy that I bring, I think it works out for me well. So just going to a place where I can win and, and have that full bundle in a sense. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't usually happen like that, but you know, you, you go through losing, you that, certain things. That's the we'll that's see. the dream, right? Exactly. Well, you know, Kendra, since we we out here in Las Vegas, right? You mentioned how you still get into your rehab, mm -hmm. but it is. Las Vegas, mm -hmm. right? So, if you you out on the town, you mm -hmm. out in these sh streets like that, mm -hmm. who's a teammate you bringing with you, mm -hmm. and who's one that you just gotta leave behind? <laughs> yeah. So a teammate I'm taking with me, I'm gonna say Juju Smith. Yeah. Juju that's, Smith. He might who, we yeah. might get stopped a lot to get talked to, yeah. but yeah. Um, there might be some good media. He's yeah. a yeah. social yeah. media presence in a sense. So I would take that guy and who I leave behind. Ah, you gonna make them mad too. I'm gonna make them mad because they gonna <laughs> right. see it. Who I would leave behind? I'll probably say Tyquan Thornton, my young guy. He <laughs> he's young, so I'm, I'm gonna keep him behind. Like, let him just worry about <laughs> the game yeah, first. Yeah, like exactly. get your game right my young first, guy, right? Yeah. So being that vet, like nah, bro, stay back, bro. You you gotta get get your money right, get your finances right, save yes, money, yeah, all that. Yeah. Don't don't do it too early. Yeah. You know, he gotta appreciate up. that. Yeah, exactly. So it's a positive thing in it. Yeah. Kendrick, is there anything we need to promote? Anything you're out here? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I, got a, I got a brand. Yeah. Born Bless. Okay. Yeah. BornDrip.com. You know, go get some clothes. I'm trying to promote my brand. I got there the shorts go. on. Y'all probably can't see it, yeah. but uh, They're fresh, just building man. a brand. You know what I mean? I wanna, I'm an entrepreneur in a sense, yeah, not just yeah. a football player, doing real estate, doing different things off the field. Uh, and that's been helping my rehab, too, you know, um, doing things right financially off the field. So my mental is right doing this rehab, not so stressed about getting the money from a team or whatever it may be, just doing the right things, man, to help my life, so. 
Right. Setting sir. yourself up for long-term success. Yes, sir. Not worried about just the future here, but we are sir. concerned about the future. Best of luck with the rehab. Best of luck with free agency. Yes, sir. Best of luck of navigating Las Vegas during <laughs> yeah. Super Bowl week, Kendrick. Yes. Uh, we love you in fantasy football, man. So continued success to you, my friend. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, man. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.